Que bueno mi gente, Calix Boxing here with another prediction and preview video. Miguel Cotto is facing Yoshihiro Kamagai in uh, Carson, California, StubHub Center, which I heard is, is a great venue to watch boxing. They're, they're facing each other. It's weird seeing Cotto in Cali on the West Coast. It's just weird to me. Um, but this will be his third fight in California. Cotto's a New York fighter to me, so... With the news coming out that he'll probably be facing David Lemieux in December in New York if he wins this fight. I think a lot's on the line. I think you'll have a dedicated Cotto, and um, it'll be good to see him back in New York in December if he does get past this test in Kamigai. Now, first, let's give you the records and dimensions. Miguel Cotto, 40 and 5, 33 KOs. Yoshihiro Kamigai, 27, 3 and 2 with 24 KOs. And that, that sums up. Come a guy. He he's he's a power puncher, and he's a guy that <laughs> offense, 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 offense. You know, like Loyola Marymount basketball. He he just wants to pressure, pressure, pressure. Um, not not thinking much about defense. Doesn't care if he gets hit. Uh, he has he's gonna have a range advantage, a reach advantage in this fight, five nine, seventy one inch reach. To Cotto's five seven, sixty seven inch reach. We all know Cotto's kinda small. Even for one fifty four he was one he was even he was very small for one sixty, but he, he carried his power up to one sixty and kept guys honest. Um, the, the Canelo fight was a close fight. Uh, you saw what he did to Martinez, um, and Daniel Gill. He he carried it up to, to one sixty. Um, so his power is still going to be there at 154. The left hook is still going to be looking looking to land. And with that reach advantage for Kamagai, it could also become a detriment to him against a guy like Cotto, which is what I'm expecting because later in his career, for, what, for whatever reason, in the middle of his career, Cotto got away from the body punching. Cotto got away from the um, aggressive uh, offensive style. And when he got back with Freddie Roach, or when he got with Freddie Roach, um, he went back and dedicated himself to the more offensive-minded Cotto, the more uh, I'm going to get underneath you and, and shoot to the body more with that left hook. He was a devastating body puncher early in his career, and he's gotten sort of, sort of back to that late in his career. Um, he had the close loss with Canelo and hasn't fought since. year and a half layoff. I know he was having issues with Rock Nation. You know, I, thought, I think they wrote him a, a big-time check, and they couldn't really... He couldn't really get him the fights that he wanted with that, so he's he's with Golden Boy now, um, which is good for him. Um, so he's got the fight with Common Guy. It is what it is. It's it's on the same night as the Circus of Mayweather versus McGregor, so it's flying under the radar. That being said, it's going to be a much better fight. It's going to be an action-packed fight, and it's a fight that Cotto should win if he's even uh, remotely got anything left in the tank. Being that this is a style that's good for him. Now, it could be a tricky fight if Cotto's legs are completely done, 36 years old, and he turns turns old overnight because Common Guy is a guy who wants to wear you down. He's a guy who's going to continue pressuring, continue pressuring, and he can land big punches. He does have a little power with him. That being said, it's a huge step up for Common Guy. Yes, he's fought some decent fighters. Soto Karras twice, just coming off the win with him. It had a draw with him as well. Has seven straight stoppages. Uh, so he's a guy who can wear you down in there, methodically break you down and take your will away. Has the loss to Alfonso Gomez and the loss to Robert Guerrero. And, and that's my point. Even decent fighters like those can beat Kamigai if they can take his punches and continue to stay in there and throw with him because Kamigai is just going to get hit and hit and hit. And I think Common Guy, who's never been stopped, never even been on a canvas, I don't believe, he has a hell of a chin. But I think this will be the fight where he goes down. And I think this will be the fight where he gets stopped. This is going to be a fire fight. It's going to be a fun fight. And it's a perfect fight, even though I'd rather Cotto in, on the East Coast in New York. It's a perfect fight for Carson, California, for the StubHub Center. We've seen a lot of action fights there. One of my favorite fights of all time, Paul Williams versus Antonio Margarito was there. It's just a, a, a fun venue, a cozy venue for hardcore fight fans to go and watch just good action-packed fights. Abner Mars fought there a couple of times. So just th those type of fights are, are, are just fun to have there. And I think this will be one of those fights where these guys are just going to go in there and throw. 
there's not going to be much siding up or uh, technical stuff going on. But um, when it comes down to it, Cotto's punch is going to be sharper, shorter, and he's going to get in on the inside, get low, and dig into Common Guy's body. And I think that's going to be the difference. He's going to slow him down. And that left hook is going to play a big role in this fight. It's going to, it's going to find his way to the body and into Common Guy's chin as well. So I like Cotto by middle round stoppage in this one. Maybe, maybe to get to the later rounds, but I, I like Cotto too. Um, I, just, I just think he's going to be too much for him. Even at 36 years old, clearly um, past his prime, but he fought well against Canelo, I thought. He fought well. That was a good fight. A good fight. And he, he's got the win versus Martinez and Gil before that. So not as far gone, I don't think, as people think. I mean, he, he is not what he used to be, obviously, but uh, still has enough left in the tank to win a fight like this and get himself to a bigger fight in December. So hit me up. Let me know what y'all think about this fight. Peace.